So welcome to this video about the largest moon in the solar system. Now, before we actually discuss the largest moon, we should define what makes a moon. So for an object to be classified as a moon, it has to be on an orbit around a planet or an object bigger than itself. If it was just floating around in space on its own, it wouldn't be a moon. It would be either a minor planet or a planet or an asteroid, something like that. So the definition of a moon is it's got to be orbiting a planet. Now, the largest moon in the solar system is actually Ganymede. So this moon is one of the four Galilean moons of Jupiter. So there's four of them. So starting from the one closest to Jupiter, you've got Io, Europa, Ganymede, and then Callisto. Now, they're all very large moons, but Ganymede is actually the largest in the solar system. So that is the top one. As a comparison to Earth, it's a little bit under half its size. So compared to Earth, it's, you know, it's still quite large and it's obviously bigger than the moon. So it's not quite twice the size of the moon, but it's, it's quite a bit bigger than our moon. Now, compared to Titan, which is the largest moon around Saturn, it's actually about 80 kilometers bigger than that in diameter. And Titan has a very significant atmosphere. We also know that it has things like lakes, seas, um, an erosion process is due to that liquid methane on there, whereas Ganymede doesn't necessarily have that large atmosphere, although it does have a very small one. So it's, it's bigger than Titan, which has its atmosphere. It's actually bigger than Mercury. So Mercury is our innermost planet, and Ganymede is bigger than Mercury. Not by a lot, but it's still bigger than one of our planets. And it's actually a lot larger than Pluto. So although Pluto is not necessarily classified as a planet, it's a minor body, it's actually quite a lot larger than Pluto. Now, it actually would be classified as a planet if it wasn't orbiting Jupiter. It has a, an iron core, it's got a frozen surface, and then under that frozen surface is a liquid saltwater ocean, which has the potential to support life. So it's got a very similar sort of makeup as, to, as Earth may do internally. Um, it, like I say, it would actually be classified as a planet if it wasn't for the fact that it was orbiting around Jupiter. And because of that internal iron core, it has a magnetosphere. So this is its magnetic field around it, which kind of acts as a bit of a protection, not necessarily that much protection for Ganymede because it's a fairly weak one, but of all the moons in the solar system, it's the one with the most significant magnetosphere. Again, Earth has it and quite a lot of planets do, and it just points to it being, if this wasn't actually around Jupiter, we would probably classify it as a planet. So thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed, you can check out some of the other videos.